Hey, this is Steven from Legit PC, and uh, today we're going to look at uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and we're going to review it. So this is uh, for people that own a NVIDIA graphics card, and uh, this particular uh, software here is a utility for your NVIDIA card, as well as your games and drivers, keep your drivers updated, as well as other things. So first things off, you, uh, so you set your preferences to detect your games, and then it will look it will um, know the supported games. You could check that out. Check the supported games on their website. And it will look up your current settings. For example, here, League or Hawken or Grid 2. It will look up your current settings and it will tell you what they would suggest your optimal um, uh, your, your, your optimal settings would be for your particular card for that game. So uh, I have a 660 Ti on my particular PC and it will tell me uh, what I should go with on something like Battlefield 4 it will tell me the optimal settings so here it wants me to go on ultra and have everything basically on ultra which uh, it plays alright but I, I think it's designed to optimize you at, uh, si at 60 frames per second and these optimal settings are supposed to do that so here um, it will show you, it will tell you what the certain things are in different scenes Right, you see depth of field, things like that. Let me uh, let me change the sizes window. So depth of field, distortion. You can see some sort of effect from a heater or a cooler or something. Dynamic shadow, shadows in the head in the face because he's behind the the moon, so it's blocking the light. So it's got all different kinds of stuff like that, showing what some of the effects are in game as well as showing multiple different uh, uh, ways that you could optimize your game. So you just hit optimize and it changes, um, it forces those settings. I don't know if it exactly, sometimes in some games I see that it changes it, other times I see that some of the things didn't change, but I know for sure that it forces that inside your game, uh, inside the NVIDIA control panel, it forces it. Now uh, here's uh, the driver update, so you could go ahead and check for update. Right now I'm running the, the latest, the R331 game driver, uh, 33, 331.65, and uh, as you can see, it's I've just checked for update and there's nothing else, and you can include beta drivers as well. Um, this will check automatically, uh, like once you log in, it'll uh, once you start up your PC, if you have it set to startup, it will check for your updates. And it'll also allow you to download and install your updates all from this window. So it'll pop up saying that there's a saying that there's a uh, um, a new driver, and then you click on Express Install or Custom Install, and it'll download it and then install it to your PC all within the same program. Don't have to go on their site and type in what card you have. It already knows what card you have, and it'll automatically get that stuff for you, as well as you could have the uh, rig details. So here's a Steven's gaming rig, 660 Ti and my 460 for uh, dedicated physics, i5 3570K, uh, 8 gigs, um, you know, 60 hertz, uh, Windows 8 Pro. I haven't got 8.1 yet, but um, and then the brand new Shadow Play that just came out for uh, I think it's 33, it was for drivers from 331.40 on. So it came out the 28th, the driver for it came out the 28th and allowed it to be released. I'll probably have another video of that, and all my future game capture videos will be going through game, uh, Shadow Play now instead of my capture card. My capture card will only be used for streaming and doing what I am doing right now is desktop capture. So here's the game uh, game optimization that's set. Game streaming is set. This is for uh, Nvidia Shield Shadow Play, which is for the 400 series and uh, sorry the 600 series and 700 series Nvidia cards with the Kepler architecture. And uh, here's some of the, the, the system requirements for that. As you can see, I'm green all the way. And here I'm green, but uh, I don't have um, I don't have the I don't actually have a shield yet. And here's the shadow play in beta. Everything's good to go. I'm all green, ready to go. And uh, LED, I don't have those cards with LEDs on. Them. I don't have a card with LED on. So here's uh you know the general license agreement language event logging, your games, where you want it to check for your games, uh, streaming for NVIDIA Shield, when you want to check for updates, and uh, Shadow Play Overlay, and where you want to save for Shadow Play. So that's basically, um, this is NVIDIA GeForce Experience, it's a really great software, I suggest everybody have that, and I think now with the drivers, 
it is sending out GeForce Experience with the drivers. Um, but if it doesn't, go ahead and download it anyways. It's a great application. I'd highly recommend it. Um, I don't necessarily use the Optimize as much. It depends on um, if uh, if I'm playing the game, you know, just for fun, then I then I might optimize it. Otherwise, if I'm uh, if I'm playing it just for fun, usually I lower down the graphics settings to to have less of an impact on my graphics card. I mainly use it to check for drivers and update the drivers because I like to have those always updated, especially when I'm going to do a day one video. I like to have the 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 drivers all the way updated just to show you the the best footage I can as far as the difference between not having the the software and having the software. So later I'm going to be doing a uh, review on uh, Shadowplay the more I use it and we'll talk about that later. So this has been Steven from the GPC and this is my review and uh, as well as overview of GeForce Experience. There's not really a program out there like it. Uh, I don't know of any program for ATI but I know this is the one to get for NVIDIA. It's from the creators NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA Corporation, the, the creators of your graphics card, and it, I, it basically supports almost all um, graphics cards. Even uh, I have a friend that has a onboard graphics card on, on his laptop, and it still works with that. It even comes up with updated drivers, already knows what kind of soft, already knows what kind of hardware it gets, uh, already, already knows what kind of hardware it has, and it gets it right for him. He installs the driver, he's good to go doesn't need to know anything about his PC or anything like that just gets the driver doesn't even know what card he has but he gets it anyways it sends it right to him so yeah this has been Steven from Legend PC and this is my review of GeForce Experience um, if you like my reviews please subscribe for uh, more videos like it and I'd like to thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for more videos thanks <laughs>